Alright, this is going to be an unboxing, a long-awaited unboxing of uh, Criterions from Barnes, from Barnes & Noble. Uh, I placed this order on November 14th, so it's been about three weeks since I ordered it, so pretty happy that it's, it's finally here. Um, I was uh, worried about uh, import charges, but I, I picked it up today. And um, you know, luckily there were there were there were no imp import uh, charges. Uh, still, you know, pretty pricey. Uh, I mean, even though it is like I've heard other other people say too, even though it is uh, half off, it is it's not cheap. I mean, you you are paying twenty bucks for one movie, and uh, it's you know totally worth it. Forty bucks, maybe not so much, but twenty bucks, absolutely. But it doesn't mean that it's cheap, but it is a good deal. Anyway, so I got a bunch of um, stuff here. Um, I did. Um, I've only done this once before. Um, placed um, an order on a Barnes and Noble 50% off sale, um, and that was two years ago in August, I think. Uh, and that was DVDs too. And uh, shortly after that, I began to think like, well, I don't really want DVDs or Criterion's on DVD. I prefer getting Blu-rays. Uh, on Criterion, or you know, um, but I didn't have a region-free Blu-ray because they they only um, make these in Region A. Uh, but recently I got I got myself a player, a region-free player, um, also from the states. And uh, one of the purposes for that was you know so that I could get Criterions on Blu-ray. And now I can. And let's just dig in here. First up is let's see is it called by brackage i don't know but it's um an anthology volumes one and two uh stan brackage yeah you can see here it says by brackage on the spine uh yeah stan brackage he is an experimental filmmaker uh and i will i've been pretty interested in in his stuff i don't know if i if i will like this but um he's they look really interesting and uh, you can see here it says uh, 56 films, 689 minutes, so most of them are very short. Um, especially there's one called, um, oh, I don't know what it's called, I can't remember now. But especially one one film, uh, like a little, a, li a little bit longer, I think maybe 40, 50 minutes or something like that, that I'm really interested in. But these are, a lot of, a lot of them are very abstract as you can see on the cover here. Uh, some of them, you know, don't really have themes, but it's just it's just uh, abstract images, and I'm not sure if that's my thing, but I've heard that this is uh, definitely an experience. So, <laughs> and it's a very nice box set. So, I'm happy to have this. So, yeah, we'll see if I like it. Hopefully, I will. Obviously, um, then we have Solaris by Andrei Tarkovsky. Um, I have, uh, let's see, I've seen Andrei Rublev and Stalker, but uh, that's it, really. Uh, and this one is supposed to be great. Um, pretty long movie, 166 minutes. I've heard that it's mainly talking, so it might be a fairly difficult movie to sit through, but I've heard that it, it's also rewarding. And, uh, you know, yeah, so Solaris. And then this was one of the main ones that I was looking forward to. This is Fantastic Mr. Fox, and I am so excited to have this a Wes Anderson movie. I've only seen this once, and um, that was short, shortly after it came out, I think. And this one also, maybe I should do that for all of them. You, I'm gonna, if you want to read uh, what special features you have here, then you can just go ahead and pause. But especially, I mean, of course, I want to see the movie again. I'm looking forward to that. But uh, let's see where it is. Um, it's a footage of the actors voicing their characters. Uh, and then here we have uh, puppet construction, stop motion setups, uh, puppet animation tests. I mean, that stuff just, uh, um, I'm really, really looking forward to watching that. And uh, yeah, and a very nice set too. Well, it's thick. That's that, that basically is what, that's what made me say very nice set. The fact that it's thick. <laughs> I guess that makes me a collector, doesn't it? Well, uh, I'm sure it's gonna be nice when I open it up too. Anyway, uh, and the cover is great, of course. Yeah, so fantastic Mr. Fox, looking forward to that. Uh, then we have Rosemary's Baby. 
I have this on DVD. Been wanting to see it again. I'm sure this has uh, special features that the DVD does not have. It has uh, a fe feature feature length documentary on uh, Christoph Kometa, uh, the um, um, composer for the uh, he, he made the soundtrack, and he made an I think he pretty much only made one album. You know that is not related to you know that is not a soundtrack but um an um, an album with original music or well the soundtracks are or original music too but you know um and that album uh, astigmatic is uh, one of my favorite jazz records so um it should be interesting to see the documentary about him and um anyway um i forgot that i was going to show you the uh, <laughs> special features on the other two if you're interested so there there you have those and then here well I kind of showed you here before but let's just quickly do it again all right so let's move on to the next one we have M <clears throat> by Fritz Lang um, yeah I, I gotta say I'm not sh in, I'm not entirely sure what to expect here I, I, I've just heard some really um, good things about it and um, oh, this is called cool. Conversation with Fritz Lang a 50 minute film by William Friedkin that sounds interesting um, yeah I mean I, I I guess I don't I don't really have time to look at all of these featurettes now but I'll be sure to do that later in more detail um, but yeah this, this is a, an old movie an old German movie from 1931 it says right there um so and it's supposed to be one of the greats really <laughs> i've heard really great things about this uh so i'm definitely looking forward to this let's see i have two more to go here the seventh seal you know pretty similar looking covers in a way anyway um yeah a film by Ing by ingmar bergman being swedish i guess i should have seen this by now but i have not but i am definitely definitely looking forward to it um, I've seen a few in Ingmar Bergman movies. Can't say I'm a big fan, um, but I, I I I said to myself a few years ago that if it takes me, you know, a while to get into his movies, that's fine. But I said that a few years ago, and I haven't really gotten into them. Uh, but uh, I'll give it a, f a few more years, <laughs> and we'll see. Um, I guess it's a plus if I actually watch his movies. I haven't really done that in a while, but anyway. So, uh, but I'm looking forward to watching this. Uh, I was kind of debating whether or not I should get Wild Strawberries as well, but I was thinking uh, maybe two two Ingmar Bergman movies at once is a little well. Uh, one is enough at least when you buy Criterion's. <laughs> I prefer getting another an another movie in that case that is not Bergman. Let's see the last one. Oh yeah, I know which one this is. Night of the Hunter. A lot of people have talked about this recently, um, and uh, everybody seems to like it. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to finally seeing this for myself. Uh, I feel like most people know about it. Well, most people know about all of these movies, I guess. I mean, they're pretty well-known movies, but I've, do I've heard everybody, everyone talk about this lately. So I'm not really going to do that. But uh, did I show did I show you these special features? I'm not sure. But that's it. Uh, that's my second Criterion haul, or yeah, and but my first one when it comes to Blu-rays. So pretty nice start <laughs> to my Blu-ray Criterion collection. I'll be sure to get more in the future, but you know they look pretty good together already. So yeah, that's that. Uh, tell me what you think about these. I'm looking forward to you know digging into these gonna be a lot of fun uh, so yeah that's that thank you very much for watching